What's up, my homies? How you doing? How you been, buddy? I got a question for you. Are you are you a gamer? Do you like video games? Because I would say I am a gamer, obviously. I mean, if you look behind me, tons of video game garbage back there, video game toys and whatever else. And call me crazy, but I'm the kind of guy who I'm not, I'm not too upset when the video game has sexy ladies in it. Uh, here we've got some footage from the Center and Kagura games. I actually had it at half speed. Let's see the full ninja action there. Not every game has to have huge breasted ladies, you know, jumping around and swinging their assets, but it is something I occasionally enjoy. Obviously, this upsets some people. Some people want to take this away from us. They say, well, this is offensive to women. Women, you should not sexualize them. You should not play the ninja game where you knock their clothes off. And, you know, it's always been a debate. I get it. I understand that women don't want to be objectified all the time. But I would also tell ladies, like, hey, we're having a little bit of fun. It's cheeky. It's not real. You know, I don't think it really has a major effect. I don't think it's causing ripples of misogyny throughout the world. Maybe maybe some people take it too far. I'll say that. But you got to let people have fun. You got to let us have our sexy video games. Well, now we're finding out that no, we're not allowed. <laughs> I don't know. Can I show this on YouTube? Uh, they're going to take all this away from us, guys. They're taking it away. I don't know why. I don't know what we did. But the entire mainstream apparatus now exists to try and make guys like us feel bad because we like seeing attractive women. We're bad. We're misogynists. We're evil. And there is a company coming forth to put a stop to our evil objectification of women. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we get into it, don't forget, hit that button, subscribe to the channel. And I almost don't want to click away from this beautiful video footage, but I guess I have to. Now, are you aware of the company Dove? Dove Soap. Let's actually take a look at a, what is Dove Sup Soap up to? I just use like a, like an off the shelf body wash, man. I'm not a Dove, Dove Soap guy. Why do I keep calling him Dove? Let's see, they got the original beauty bar, the soothing care beauty bar, the shea butter. Okay, let's be clear. Men don't care about soap. <laughs> we use whatever we can find. You get the cheap bar at CVS, it doesn't matter. But you know who cares about soap? Women. Women care about soap. They want to be clean. They want to be uh, smell good. I get it, and I love that about you, ladies. I love that you take care of your bodies. My body is a, is a dumpster fire, all right? I'll admit to that. Well, now Dove, again, a soap company, this makes no sense, is coming out to tell us that we need to celebrate women in games with real virtual beauty. This is a very complicated ad campaign. A new collaboration between Dove, women in games, Epic Games is getting involved. Epic, what are you doing? You're a good company. Why are you getting involved in this nonsense? Uh, have all launched a series of actions to increase diversity and representation of female characters in games and support girls' self-esteem. Some 1.3 billion women and girls make up half of the global games community. I'm not going to argue about it, okay? There's always the argument of like, well, yeah, but what games are they playing? Are they playing Words of Friends? Are they playing Farmville? Does that count? Are they really gamers? But whatever, fine. Okay. 60% uh, play games before the age of 13. I know women are playing games. I know women are playing the new Zelda. I'm just saying. I don't think they're... It's mostly a male hobby, gaming. Let's be real. Uh, so, uh, we did a research and found that 60% of girl gamers feel misrepresented and rec recognize a lack of diversity as a key issue in video games. The research said that 35% of young girls state their self-esteem is negatively impacted after seeing a lack of diversity in characters and avatars. Oh, no. I mean, I don't want that. I mean, that does sound bad. You know, I don't want young women to feel like they're underrepresented. Uh, but I also would argue, like, hey, man, I think there, I think there's just some games that are that are aimed at men. Uh, again, a lot of this is, you know, they're, they're collaborating with Epic Games because Epic Games has Fortnite. And Fortnite puts, let's be clear, some very sexy looking ladies in the Fortnite game. And maybe girls go, oh, you know, they don't look like me. But I mean, as a guy, if you ask me, do you think video games represent you? I'd go, absolutely not. What's the last time you played a video game? With a short, fat Italian guy jumping around and collecting mushrooms. Oh, wait, I guess I am represented in video games. Never mind. <laughs> but other than Mario, I got nothing. There's not a lot. The Mario's our one guy. That's the one guy for us fat Italians. Uh, other than that, anyway, 
Well, maybe we'll come back to this. But the point is that we have put out this ad, and this is supposed to tell us exactly what the problem is. Because I don't really get it. What, 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 are you, what are you telling me? The problem is that women don't feel represented in video games? I mean, I've been playing the video games lately, and if anything, a lot of them have been bending over backwards to do this whole diversity and real women thing. Let's be clear, the game companies are, you know, changing things because they do, I guess, want to represent women more. Here we have, I think this is Katana from Mortal Kombat, who, oh, not bad, not bad. Now, it's like, what's, what, this is anything. This looks like, this could be a guy for all, I mean, I guess it got a nice, nice pair right there. But I think we've already made the strides you want. If anything, we've gone too far. If anything, I, I look at video games these days and I go, why can't they be a little sexier? Why did we take all the sexiness out of them? Well, maybe Dove's going to make a point about why we got to get rid of the sexy ladies. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to say this right away. This is not <laughs> this is not attractive, Ivory. Uh, if you're trying to make the point that these women are... Uh, you know, being forced to be sexualized. This is, this is a terrible character design. She's not a good-looking lady, but okay. All right, so they're going back, and look, this is all the... They're, they're saying... Look, they're saying these male game designers, it's 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 pretty transparent. They don't have to say it out loud, but we get it. They're saying, oh, you know, men have designed all these characters and look at these posters. They always, you know, put these tight, curvaceous female bodies on there. Isn't that awful? And it's like, well, no. I, I mean, I always make the argument, I don't understand why game companies don't lean into it. Again, these are these are teenage fantasies. These are these are mostly for young young men. Maybe I mean I guess now more older uh, people are playing video games, but it's still it's just power fantasies. It's you want to swing a big sword around and rescue a hot chick. Uh, again, this chick that they this is this is their idea of a super hot chick, and I'm like I don't I don't know about that, but she looks fine. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's see what they're gonna do with her. Oh, oh, she's fat. All right. And look, I'll say this, uh, like, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've dated, you know, larger girls pretty much. I mean, look at me. Who am I going to, am I going to get some tiny little thing? No, I date big girls. I get it. And if I met a girl like this, I'd go, hey, yeah, she's pretty good looking. I get it. But it's also the video game fantasy is that, you know, these are very athletic games. These are about people, you know, scaling mountains, you know, uh, lifting heavy weaponry, running around all day long without running out of breath. Part of it, it just comes from a practicality standpoint. We're not saying, well, you know, this is unattractive because I would I would make the argument, eh, pretty good looking lady right here. But it's more like. Why would I cast her in a game that's about, you know, like like Tomb Raider? I expect that Laura Croft, who's running around and jumping up rocks all day long, probably, uh, is, you know, her, she's getting her steps in. She's probably pretty fit. This character, she could be a tank or a healer, you know, if you want to put her in some power armor. Uh, but we have good representation because now I'm thinking about, I mean, like May from Overwatch. She was not exactly... You know, she's she's not, you know, fat, but she's not skinny either. You know, we have this kind of representation out there if you're looking for it. She's a bigger, thicker lady. Uh, so I, I think this ad is presenting a problem that doesn't really exist. Where it's like, oh, we need characters like this. It's like, well, we have them when they're appropriate, when it makes sense for the setting. Okay, but when it's these action games or these fighting games that are about, you know, highly trained athletes going on adventures... You're not going to get a big fat lady <laughs> running around. You know, nobody, it just it was, it doesn't make sense for the setting. All right. Taking it all off. Relaxing. I don't get it. What is happening? Okay, now she looks terrible. So sometimes she looks cute. Right here, I'm like, this is not a good facial expression. I guess she's going back on the battlefield as her truest self, as as a lady who you know uh, maybe maybe needs to exercise a little bit or whatever. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you know, which, which is fine. It just doesn't fit the world of video games. 74% of girls feel underrepresented. Again, I would make the argument, I feel underrepresented. I'm also not asking. There you go, very powerful. I, okay, again, I'm not asking. I don't go to video game companies and go, guys, where are the big fat doofuses with beards? Because I go, no, it doesn't make sense. Okay, when I play these games and I'm a, you know, uh, I, I actually like to pick characters that honestly, you know, represent something that I probably will never a achieve. I like to pick very cool, badass women, honestly, so I can watch them flip around and do cool stuff. All right. I'm thinking about my monster hunter character right now. It kind of looks like Bayonetta or just Bayonetta. I love Bayonetta. Okay. And no part of me goes, man, I feel underrepresented because it's a, it's a hot chick with like cool. I'm like, I don't want to be represented. I want to see a cool character. Uh, but I guess women, and this is, this is actually a thing I've heard in psychology is that men are happy just like becoming different characters. Whereas women want characters who look just like them, who, you know, they feel represented. Uh, I don't get it. I mean, ultimately it comes down to, is this, is this, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. First of all, just leave the gamers alone, man. Okay. I know that maybe. I, I I know you're saying that you want diversity and representation or whatever else, but it kind of feels like you're also saying, and you want to get rid of, you know, this, you want to get rid of Tomb Raider. You want to get rid of Senran Kagura. You want to get rid of these, these sexy games because they offend people and people feel left out. Okay. That's how it's always going to feel. And if it's not that way, you need to be a lot clearer with your messaging. Cause what I'm getting out of this is you're like, well, why don't all the video game characters look like this lady? I go, because they're about adventurers and explorers and fighters and athletes. Doesn't make sense. Yes, occasionally, this is a body type that makes sense for a game. I think it's fine in certain roles, okay? But the majority of these games are big, stupid, open-world adventures. Where, frankly, I'm playing Zelda right now, okay? He literally, you know, he's probably, my character's probably walked uh, 100 miles in the first two hours of the game. Okay, he's running around, he's jumping, he's climbing. He's not going to look like this. It doesn't make any sense. And that's why, ultimately, I think this real virtual beauty women in games, uh, what, I don't know what you guys want. As activists, we want to support women and young girls in the game industry. Okay, well, they can be in the game industry without being, like, does this make girls not want to program because there's not fat girls in the video game? And wouldn't it actually inspire, wouldn't it make more sense Call me crazy, but if you're like, oh, video games don't have enough fat women, me as a fat woman, I'm going to become a programmer and try to change the game, okay? If anything, if you have more diversity and representation, people go, well, they already got it. I don't got to, I don't got to get involved in that industry. They got it all figured out. Uh, anyway, we got to shatter the harmful beauty ideals, the Dove self-esteem project. I don't know, man. This just feels like a stupid waste of time. This feels like it's trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist. I don't think this is a real problem. I don't think women, 74% of girls feel underrepresented in video games. Me, as a big fat idiot, I feel very underrepresented in video games. All I got is Mario. And I'm not losing sleep over it, and it doesn't matter. Uh, this is stupid. Well, guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Are women, should we get rid of the sexy women in video games? Do we need to take it away? Are us evil men not helping represent women and help it? Their self-esteem, guys. we got to help out their self-esteem. I don't get it. I don't know. But please let me know what you think. I also, guys, I implore you to go to Indiegogo or check the link in my description to check out my very first graphic novel, Super Killer. Guys, I have poured my heart and soul into this. We are almost at $35,000. We got 45 days left on the campaign, but it will run out, okay? I don't know when you're watching this video, but once it's over, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna be like, oh, I didn't get one. I'm an idiot. I should have went earlier. Well, you can go get it. Again, this is an awesome comic. It's a superhero adventure, kind of like the boys are invincible. A lot of blood, a lot of sexy. I, I mean, I hate to say it. I'm one of these guys who's destroying women's self-esteem. I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, rare tentacle edition cover uh, drawn by Toshio Maeda. That one's special. That one comes with a poster for all you weird perverts out there. You can get the regular copy uh, for 25 Going to be a fantastic graphic novel and a great collector's edition uh, for your collection. This, this book's going to make you rich someday. 
Someday you're going to say, I have a first edition copy of Super Killer, and you're going to sell it for a yacht, and you're going to feel like the smartest guy ever. So please check the link in my description or head on over to Indiegogo. Check out Super Killer number one. Watch the video. Get all the information you need. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. And more fat ladies in video games? Yeah, sure. Why? I don't care. Fine. As long as we get more fat guys, too. You got to make more fat guys as well. I want to be represented. That's what I say.